I don't know if this is some. I don't remember Valverde doing this much last year, if at all. I, I, you know, we've always talked about uh, Messi and Ronaldo as two players that, when fit, have generally always played, uh, unless they've had a, a, a niggle or, or something. They have always played week in, week out, uh, and rarely been rested. This this new way of Valverde or, or, or Barcelona trying to operate isn't working. That being said, they could quickly turn this on on a dime, going to talk, going to talk them to play yeah. Tottenham. I mean. They're the type of side, Barcelona, with the type of players that they could just turn it like that. And I think that's what Valverde's waiting on. The big problem is, domestically, that it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough old season this year with Real Madrid and more so Atletico Madrid banging on the door. And if they are going to turn it around, it's going to have to come, not necessarily because these guys have to play better in the attack. Defensively, they have yeah. to be better. Barcelona is to the point now to where whenever another team simply dumps a ball over the top and it's panic station. It's everybody running all over the place really without having a clear idea or a clear path as to what we need to do defensively. There are mistakes coming from everywhere. And more worryingly than anything, when Barcelona is losing possession of the ball in the attacking half, usually Barcelona at their best is able to get it right back. That's not happening mm. because that's not happening. That ball over the top is happening. And then the speed of other players with agility, with athleticism, say Iñaki Williams, for example, who apparently became a superstar over the weekend, he's causing problems for Barcelona. And that's the case for Barcelona against any team that they play right now. Too much time on the ball once they lose it, then the ball is over the top and you're getting mistakes from everywhere in the back line. The, the thing is, pound for pound, yes, Barcelona are a far better team. My concern with them is they only seem to turn it on, to Craig's point, when Lionel Messi is on the park. Nobody else is, is able, has the character, the personality to step up and, and take games by the scruff of the neck. But if they follow Lionel Messi's lead, then everything seems to click. So now this game hinges, well, for Barcelona, hinges on Lionel Messi. At the same time, Ali spoke about their, their deficiencies at the back, exposure to pace, when you've got Lucas Moura, and in particular, Hyung Min Son, who Pochettino likes to call on when he needs pace, you have a huge problem. Naki Williams is one thing. Moura and Son, with, with Kane up front, is, is another. Can Barcelona make those adjustments, not just going forward, but at the back? That's a big question. I think that's one of the problems for, for, for Valverde coming into this game, and I don't know how much he takes note of other teams. Mm. I presume... He's not that arrogant that he thinks, you know, we're just too good. Maybe in years gone by, Barcelona could do that, but I don't think they can do it at the moment. The problem is for Valverde is you try and second guess what, how he's going to play when nobody has a clue what Pochettino's going to do. Mm. Yep. Shaka reeled off a couple of names there of, of, of uh, Lucas Moura and Hong Ming Son. Yeah. Chris, we don't even know what, what he's going to play a back four, a back three, who's going to play in the middle, whether these guys are going to play. So try to prepare to play against Tottenham is the difficult part of it because he changes his team so many times. Sid, how do you think this game's going to go? Well, I mean, you know, you're talking about the, the position of Messi. One of the things, one of the reasons why they rotated Messi is because, of course, they were very conscious of the fact that last year they didn't rotate and they went to Roma and, and, and got beaten. And Luis Suarez himself said he regretted having not rested the game against Leganes three days before. So I think this is telling you something about the importance of the Champions League. I think Barcelona at the moment look open. I think they look, they look, um, they look fragile in a way that they didn't last year by going to 4-3-3. They have a man fewer in midfield. And, and to be honest with you, I think this would be difficult for Barcelona. Bear in mind, they've got a very poor away record in the Champions League already. I believe it's only one win in the last seven trips on the road.